In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of the atoms here in SO3, sulfur trioxide. We use these general rules here to help guide our work. So the red, those are the oxygens, the three oxygens, and then we have our yellow, that's the sulfur. So I look down the list here, and I can see that oxygen, that's almost always minus two. So that means the oxidation state or number on each oxygen is going to be minus two. We won't find sulfur here in our rules because sulfur can have different oxidation states. But we know that in a neutral compound, all of the oxidation numbers, they have to add up to zero. So I have this information here, and I know that they'll add up to zero. So think of it this way. We have minus 2, 4, 6, minus 6, plus some number will equal this zero here. So minus 6 plus a positive 6, that equals zero. That means the oxidation state for the sulfur here is plus six. So to recap, we use these rules to figure out the oxidation numbers for the elements that we knew. Here are the oxygens we knew to be minus two. And we use that information and the fact that this is a neutral compound, that all the numbers will add up to zero to find the sulfur. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for the atoms in SO3, sulfur trioxide. Thanks for watching.